Hey, it's Andre and we're back for another Friday Flying Update. Yeah, I've been absent and the blunt truth is I've been super busy or traveling. Um, I guess it all started after the Ohio trip. Just got really crazy busy with work and a couple other trips that happened after that. But uh, things are looking sort of normal again, I guess. Uh, busy or never at work for whatever reason, uh, which is cool. Uh, and uh, yeah, the Ohio trip, I guess I will summarize saying it was epic and awesome and crazy. And uh, yeah, I did crash the Radiant and it was really annoying and unfortunate. But it's almost back together. I guess the biggest thing I got to do this weekend uh, before deciding if I need a new airframe or not is to go in there and splice in a brand new um, spar because obviously it took a bit of damage. Uh, a couple nice chunks out of one side, the nose is completely off, and the top. So it feels like it's come back together pretty good. The motor seems to be okay and everything. I have ordered a new spinner and prop because they took a little bit of damage uh, in the crash. Um, so hopefully it will fly again. If not, I will guess I will be replacing it with the newer version of the Radiant since you can't get the classic one any anymore. And I don't think I want an XL. Uh, really the only other airplane at this point that really interests me would probably be the Optera. But until I know what's going on with the Canadian rules, I see zero value in buying anything that's big. Why? Because we don't know what's going on. And enter probably my all-time favorite now, <laughs> uh, AS3X equipped airplane. This little guy uh, from Nate uh, uh, it really impressed me. I was flying uh, the little uh, Cub in some serious wind um, when we are at Mike uh, um, Cohen's parents' place. And it was just a blast because we were getting nailed from wind over the top and everything. And I set her into a high rate expert mode and just went to town flying it. So good little airplane on the 200 milliamp 1S batteries. I was getting about nine to 10 minutes. So next thing I want to do is get this out to the airfield and see how tight I can fly it inside of a contained area and see if it's actually, you know, can fly slow enough to fly in my backyard. I don't think it will, but you never know. The other one I picked up from Nate, thank you, Nate, by the way, is this really nice Corsair. It does have a broken servo. He does have the replacement bit. So I'm seeing if I I can pop the gear off that's damaged versus taking the whole thing apart. Um, so not a whole lot of that, pardon me, not a whole lot of other stuff happening, unfortunately. Um, I haven't flown since I've gotten home. Uh, the weather has just been terrible. And even this weekend, it's just going to be rainy and pouring. So I guess it's a good time to clean the shop up, do some 3D printing, work on the trucks, work on the Radian, and kind of start thinking about you know, flight fest and, and all the organization work that I need to start laying down for. Uh, volunteer numbers are going up very, very nicely and everything is sort of moving in place. So it looks like July will be a real fun month, but uh, right now June is looking yeah, so terrible in the weather. So, okay. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot other to say than uh, happy Father's Day to everybody and um, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.